Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a Python script to move uh, Excel data to Google Sheets using the uh, Google Sheets API and the uh, Win32 count library. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet and the name of the spreadsheet is called championlist.xlxx and this is basically uh, all the NBA champions for uh, each year from 2019 all the way down to back to 1947. So we have some quiet data here. It's not a lot, it's only 83 rows. And generally you can basically uh, go to Google Sheets and open the Excel file and convert the Excel file to Google Sheet. But imagine you have to do this every day or maybe uh, couple times a day or maybe 50 times a day and that's going to be quite annoying. So I figure uh, why not to automate this process uh, that we can write a Python script to uh, automatically dump this uh, data set from Excel and to Google Sheets. Now let's open our Python editor or your uh, Python development environment. And here I already have a, a Python script uh, created. And the first step is we need to input the library. So here I already created my uh, create service function from my uh, google.py file. And I'll post the Python script on my website and you can go to the description to get the URL. And from, so here from the google.py file, and I have a function called create service. And let me make the font size a little bit bigger. Uh, let's open setting. Let me change that to 18. Okay, I think that's a little bit easier to see. And next we need to import the win 32 com uh, client module. So here from win 32 com client, I'm going to name that as uh, win 32. If you have never used uh, win 32 com library before, the library allows you to manipulate any uh, Windows uh, object component. And for example, Excel, uh, Photoshop, almost all the uh, desktop software that you download, uh, you can actually use the Win32 to come to manipulate those uh, Windows object components. In this case, we're using the Win32 to come that client module to manipulate the Excel uh, object components. In here, uh, the f once we have the uh, the libraries uh, imported, and we need to create an uh, Excel application instance. So taking the Win32, uh, let me see, I don't know if that's a, a class or a module. Let me check. Oops, type. So let me import the library first. And if I do a type, Win32. Okay, so that's a module. So this uh, Win32.com.client is actually a module, not a class. So uh, taking the Win32.com.client module, in this case, when we, we named the, the module as Win32, and I'm going to use the dispatch method. The dispatch method will uh, allows you to create an application instance by providing the application name. So here the Excel application name is Excel.application. And next we need to uh, grab the Excel workbook uh, file name or file path. So here let me go to the folder where all my uh, files are sitting. And right here under my data sets folder. So I'm going to hold my shift key and right click. And that will uh, gives you the option of uh, copy as uh, uh, copy as path and click on that and that will basically uh, copy the file path to a, a clipboard and I can just uh, take the Excel app instance that workbook that open and we'll paste the, the file path and I need to convert this to raw string okay next we need to create a worksheet uh, instance now let me go back. So here my data set is sitting on the worksheet worksheet. So let me grab the, actually this is a bad worksheet name. So I'm going to name this to something else. 
I'm going to name this uh champion less with a space champion less. And I'm going to grab the worksheet name. And I'm going to create a worksheet uh instance. So uh, from the WB uh, workbook instance or oh, abja and from the workbook abja there's a methodical worksheets uh worksheets and we'll paste the the worksheet name so the worksheet name is uh champion -less. and here we need to uh store the the cell range so the that's uh actually we need to store the the data set into a cell range so here i'm going to name this um, rng data so uh represents range data and from the worksheet object that range and our data set is starting from a range cell range a1 at this point everything we do is also is basically uh mimicking vba so all the uh, methods or properties are uh, identical to visual basic application if you have never used uh vba and then uh you can basically follow along uh, because the the syntax and properties is a little bit different from uh python's uh syntax but basically this one right here uh ws dot range a1 dot current region uh excel is going to look at cell a1 and it's going to expand the area all the way to the uh where the table ends the table ends at k1 uh not not k1 k83 uh, so that means the current region uh starting from range a1 is from a1 to k83 and when we pass the value from ws dot range a1 dot current region and that's going to st uh, store the the cell range of of a1 to k83 to rng data uh, object variable and that's everything we need to do uh, for the Excel aspect. Now we need to uh, connect to the Google Sheet API and we need to paste the range data uh, records of data sets into the Google Sheet. So to uh, take the Excel data set to Google Sheets, now we need to uh, choose an account. So uh, right now I'm using my JIGEN at learndataanalysis.org and here they have a Google Sheet created. And I named the Google Sheets My Data. And since Google Sheets is hosting on the cloud, so uh, with Google Sheet you don't have a file name, but you do have a, a unique identifier ID. So if you go to the, the URL and you want to grab the, the Google Sheet ID, so which is, which is this unique identification right here, and copy. And we'll store the Google Sheet ID to a variable. So I'm going to call this variable uh, G sheet underscore ID and Google Sheets ID. And for the remaining of the code, basically we're just, we're just creating a, a Google Sheets a service instance. So here I'm going to create my variables and the API uh, service name is Sheets and version will be V4. And for the scopes will be uh, https www.googleapis.com and forward slash auth and forward slash and I'm going to use the spreadsheet scope. This will give me uh, the read and write and update uh, permission. So here we can use the uh, create service to create to construct a service instance. So my first parameter is my uh, client secret file. So here I forgot to uh, create my client secret file uh, variable. So here let me grab the file name. And right here is my client secret uh, JSON file. All right, now let me pass the, uh, the variables to my parameters. And the last one will be scopes. Here I'm going to create a respond uh, object. 
So we're going to store all the uh, response output to this response uh, variable. And from the service instance, we need to uh, call the spreadsheet API dot values dot append. Oops, should be uh, here dot values dot append. And we're going to append the data to the Google Sheets. And the first parameter is the spreadsheet ID. And that's the Google Sheets uh, unique identifier ID. So we choose this one right here. And next, we need to tell Google Sheet API that how we want to insert the data. So it should be value input option. And it's going to be route string. So we're not going to uh, do anything fancy. And for the range, uh, that's where you want to insert the uh, the data set. Now let me see. So here my washing name is called data1. And let's say we want to insert the data set in cell B2. So we'll grab the, the washing name from the Google Sheet. From the Google Sheet. And here, uh, the first uh, item is the worksheet name and explanation sign, followed by the the cell range address that uh, you want to insert the data set. So I'm going to insert the data set uh, on data worksheet in cell range B2. And the last parameter I think is body. So the body takes the dictionary. So here we'll. I'm going to use the dictionary function and I'm going to uh, pass the uh, this, there are two more parameters that we need to provide to tell uh, Google Sheet how we want to uh, insert the, the table. So the first parameter is major dimension and that's the dimension how you want to insert the data. Do you want to insert the data uh, one by one as a row, or do you want to insert the data uh, one by one as a column? So here I'm going to insert my data as uh, in a rows uh, fashion. And next will be the values. The values is basically uh, your list. So here, um, what the, the syntax is going to look like uh, uh, for the values parameter is here you have a uh, outer container. Inside the container, you have a list, or not kind of like a list of lists, and this will be your first row, and this will be your second row of data, and third row of data, and so on. So here, I mean, so here we can pass the range data uh, object, and lastly, we need to execute the API call. So uh, dot execute. Okay. Now let me clear uh, everything. Now if I uh, open my command prompt, so here, let me change my directory. If I just uh, run the Excel to gsheet.py Python script, so here, uh, Excel to gsheet.py. And so right now, uh, my Google Sheet does not have any data. Right, if I just run this, Oops, can I open the file? Oh, I know why. Um, so here I store the Python script under the Sheets API directory. So here let me do this. And if I run the Python Excel to gsheet.py and no module. Uh, okay, I guess um, I'll use, uh, I'm just going to merely run the Python script uh, in my editor. So here, I'm just going to manually run this by pressing uh, F5. Now it's asking me to choose the account. So I want to choose the account where the, the Google Sheets is reside. So I store my Google Sheet under the Learn Data Analysis account. So I'm going to choose this account. If you get this windows, what you want to do is want to go to events and click on go to Google API followed by your uh, app name. And here's going to uh, confirm the uh, the permission. So allow. 
login okay now once that's finished close the browser and let's wait so here let me double check hopefully there's no typo in this thing okay so there's a there's a typo uh so there's an error let me close this so i'm going to run everything manually so i think that'll be uh, a little bit uh, easier so i'm going to run this uh set of code right here so these are good and i think the issue is here is uh, i'm I may have made a typo. So here let me run just uh this sub code. Okay and JSON. So let me take a look at the range data real quick. So I said I know why. Uh so maybe it's a function. Okay, so it's a we need to treat the current region is a function, so that was the issue. But now we're here, so let's take a look at the range data uh, data set or the output. So here, if we just print the uh, range data object, and here you can see that we get uh, a tuple within a tuple. So here, uh, ignore the outer tuple, and what what I want to focus on is the the uh, the inner tuple. So here, this is three as one row, and from and and for the second record, so this three as a uh, this is treated as a uh, uh, as the second row. Now let me move this down a little bit. Okay, now if I save the Python script, and I'm going to rerun the the program again. And that finisher. And here's my data set from the Excel spreadsheet. So here we have the, the year and we have uh, so our data starting from 2019 and ends all the way to 1947. So if I just do a quick comparison and here's uh, the last row of the data from Excel spreadsheet 1947 and the last column is uh, column K which is a uh, column. So it will be 16, and that's the column right here. <clears throat> so this is everything I'm going to share in this video. And I hope you guys found the information useful. And I'll post everything on my website, and I'll link the, the link in the description below. And as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.